<gasps> Hi, Frankie. Thanks. Very kind of you. We are just uh, getting started. Where we left off in Morrowind was... Huh, we're in the Clockwork City and we're stuck. I think. I'm out of healing. I have... Uh, Jesus H. Christ. I forgot how loud that was. Hang on a second, I gotta turn my computer down. It's so loud. Jesus, God in heaven. That's a little bit better, I guess. Yeah, so we're in the Clockwork City. We're out of healing. We have to get our strength up to be able to push that thing down, which means we have to go backwards and farm. Um, potions from enemies, unless somehow sneak my way through. Okay, thanks, Fletch. Uh, Chris, thanks for stopping by. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> my acrobatics increased. Hang on a second. see how this goes. Even if I can actually get through this door, I don't think I can. I don't know if I can handle what comes next. Oh, son of a bitch. Hang on a second. Let's just get up here real quick. this door. I read on the wiki that you could, just by sneaking your way over here. But apparently you cannot. Damn, come on. Oh, TCL doesn't get me out of the death, huh? <laughs> I'm still gonna die? Okay. Let's just spend our time uh, making Morrowind work, shall we? Oh, I still TCL. That's fine, whatever. Here we go. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm cheating my way through the Clockwork Dungeon. Oh, wonderful. Hang on a second. Maybe I can shoot at it for now? Until it decides to actually come over here? Maybe it's stuck. Oh, here it comes. Why knock it down? Mostly dead. Ah, come on. I really don't have any healing, right? Rising force. Fortify health, that's something. Might buy me an extra hit. Nope. Not enough. we are to the end of this dungeon. Really? Didn't autosave when I went into the next cell, huh? I'm breaking the game to do this. Let's save it once we get in here. There. Oh, this isn't going to go very well. 
He's already on top of me. He wasn't stuck. <laughs> okay, that sucked. Whoops. I'm dead. Hmm. It's, uh, no, Walter, we, we got through the door by TCLing. We cheated a little bit. Uh, welcome, by the way. We are currently trying to face off against a hulking fabricant, and it's not going so hot. Maybe just damage per second is needed here. Especially if I can stun lock him. Phew, okay. Hang on. It's TCL time, that's right. Well, we have no healing, and uh, I didn't want to have to go back and kill more fabricants just to get some uh, potions. So we cheated a bit. Let's see how many bad guys there are coming up. But, um, meantime, I either have to wait for my shield to heal me, or I could have. Uh, I don't have to wait for my shield to heal me, could I? Do I? I could just... Can I do this? Nope. Enemies are nearby. And it's so loud in here. So if I were to go through this door again without the bridge being down, I wonder what would happen if I would get stuck in the bridge. Alright, let's just try it with the dagger for a bit, huh? Damage per second. Damage per second. Keep stunning them. Poor dagger is not going to last long. Okay, it's just one. That's okay. Save it. It's so weird how it just kicks out like that. Okay. Huh? There's a switch, isn't there? Yes, there is. Oh, it's nice to get a break from that obnoxious sound effect. Shit. Two of them. No, oh, this isn't good. Can't do two of them. Nope. Can't do two of them. Hmm. Yeah, I can get one of them in and then close the door? Or just let my health <clears throat> build up for a bit. Can I wait now? If I go all the way down here. Aha! One hour should be enough, right? Yep. Nice. Okay. Our hero has to regain her strength. We're so deep into the Clockwork City and we have so far to go. We don't know how far we have to go. takes so long to close. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's see if we can do this. No? Pit pat, pit pat, pit pat. But now I can't even open the door. Where? There, it's very particular. No, it's not fast enough! Two of them got through! Oh god, and there's another one in there. Hey, why did the door open back up? No, that's not fair! No! <laughs> the door opened back up! Bullshit! Run! That's totally not fair! Trippy stuff, no kidding. There's no way that door should have opened back up. They don't have a switch that they control. Am I faster than it? And is the other one in here with me? If I can just snipe it. Oh no, run! We're gonna do it! We can do it! Totally not fair, says the guy with TCA. True, true. But you wouldn't expect these guys to be able to operate doors. Whereas you would expect me to be able to operate doors. I should be able to get through a door just fine. whether there's a bridge in the way or not. Okay, let's let the health build back up. No, I can't do that. Let's sneak. Maybe we can get a sneak attack on this hulking fabricant. Or whatever the big one's called. Stuck on the door? Oh, he's stuck in the door. Ah, very good. Just stay there, dude. Come no closer. Take advantage of this. Marksman increase. That doesn't happen very often. Just stay there. Hi, Frankie. Welcome. Oh, wait, no, Frankie's been here. <laughs> Hi, Jaza. <laughs> Welcome. I was confused. Glad to see you here. We are uh, very craftily trying to kill these enemies. And I say craftily because we're out of healing and we can't escape. There's no place we can go. How is everyone this Friday evening, wherever you are? Uh, hope everyone's weeks went well. If you're looking forward to the weekend, glad to hear it. Dome of the Imperfect. Well, that doesn't sound like the final room, does it? Oh. Am I going to have to fight these guys? No complaints, says Walter. <laughs> Why is it so loud in this clockwork city? Jesus. Let's see how this goes. 
can't stand it it's seriously just like what game what are you doing it's too much this noise hang on a second it's just so loud in my headphones I have to turn it down so much that I can't even hear the music now how am I gonna make this fight work there's something up high I can levitate to? Stand on? Just moving gears. But then of course I'd be stuck in one spot and he would be uh, sunburn at the day of the zoo. Yeah! It looked like you had fun at the zoo at least for me. I'd be stuck in one spot and he'd be casting spells at me. That wouldn't work, would it? if I don't shoot. Nope. It just sticks to come alive as soon as I uh maybe stick past it. The door does not budge, not while the imperfect lives. Oh my god! One of its spells. It didn't even hit how did that hit me with the spell? I didn't see it coming at all. Hmm. Okay, maybe what I do is I take all the fabricant potions that I've picked up in the meantime. What's my strength? 97? Thirty-four. Is that enough? Do you think? Die! No, this isn't going to happen at all. Look at that. One spell in my health is down. God, this is unreal. I don't think I could uh, do this even if I had unlimited healing and my favorite sword. That's nuts. I wish the game would have been a little more clear before I got transported that, oh, by the way, you can't get out of here, and it's very long, and you're going to be stuck. I would have gone hunting for more potions. I would have gone back to Vardenfell to get more potions. As it is, I ain't got dick to fight this guy with. Silence. Somebody tells me it's probably immune. Levitate doesn't help me because it can cast spells. Hurt my health, hurt my strength. Shield, levitate, slow fall, speechcraft. Absorb luck. That doesn't probably make much sense. Ten seconds.
Whoops, I didn't even cast it. Did I cast it? I did cast it, but I'm dead. <laughs> no, I think I'm just gonna... If I'm gonna actually get through this, I think I just gotta kill this thing with the console. There's no way! There's no way. What what science do I have that could manage this? I'm out of the best potions. I'm out of... Uh... My weapon is mostly damaged. No charges and true flame. The addition there is about half dead, so it's not going to do much damage anyway. And this thing is a monster! Pocket to death, yeah, possible. What if I take literally everything? What if I take all the fabric and stuff? It's not gonna work. Think. I mean, up until now, the only enemies that I've had problems with were the one Bosmer dude with the ebony suit, suit of armor. And, um. Look how fast I am! For 30 seconds. Uh. everything I've got, and I can't, can't do it. Um, the only enemies that I've had problems with were the Bosmer dude with the ebony, ebony armor and this guy. That's it. The rest of this DLC I haven't had too much difficulty with. So I don't know why now there's like this huge freaking steep curve on the end game here. It's nuts, though. And there's no indication when you start this that... Oh, by the way, this is going to be 20 times tougher than any enemy you face at this point. Except for that stupid boss. Let's just see what happens. This! So this guy... That guy's got a broken arm. Maybe he doesn't work? Can I just set health to zero? <laughs> Elixir of the Imperfect. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set health like a hundred and see if I can't take it out. <clears throat> Something a reason a reasonable amount of health, perhaps. Maybe 100 is too low, but let's try it. If this thing kills with a touch. <laughs> Is it active before? It is. Okay. No, I know. That's what I'm saying, Frankie. If you if you have if you're the Nerevarine and you've completed the main quest, it seems to me that there shouldn't be anything in the DLC that is terribly difficult, like like actually game breakingly difficult. I could see how Done the, if you've done the Nerevarine and one other quest line, like if you're really role playing it, right? Like you're not going to be in the Fighter's Guild and in the Thieves' Guild and in the Mage's Guild and uh, in the. doing assassinations and stuff like that. And a house member and a tribunal temp or a, a, a imperial cult member. If you just picked like two quest lines, I, f I would think that. Uh, have enough XP, like level mid-twenties, right? This is where I am. Should be enough so that, I'm not saying that it should be a cakewalk for me, but it should at least be possible to actually defeat the enemies, not not this fucking guy. That guy's crazy. These fabricants alone are tough. I've had to console command a few fabricants to death just because uh, it was too much. Hundred health. Don't stop me. Oh, he's healing himself. What an asshole. 
This isn't gonna work. My dagger's gonna break. There's no damage to him now. He's still gonna kill me! Look at this! Yeah, I, I see that. Um, it's the kind of thing, sorry guys, I'm messing with my mouse here one, one moment. It's the kind of thing where the DLC was probably released like six to eight months or maybe a year or so after the game proper and they're just assuming that you'll tackle this with your level 40 character that you've, you haven't played for a while because you got bored of the main game. They're like, oh, here's a DLC. You'll, you'll pick up that level 40 character and you go to Mournhold and you'll have a fun time kicking all these guys' ass. You don't expect, I don't think, when they made the DLC, when they released it, they didn't expect people to be saying, Ah, I am a level 5 character, or I'm a level 10 character, or I'm a level 15 character. Let's go to Mournhold and check it out before we do any of the other quests. This time, I'm going to save it right after I do this. Let's set it at 40? <laughs> I don't know. I want there to be an actual fight. I just don't want it to be goddamn impossible. And this dagger is going to break, so I'm not going to have any weapons to fight anything else. There! Look at that. I have felled the mighty beast. I wonder what its health was by default. what it does. I'm gonna save it here and take it and see what it does. Agility bonus? That's it? No, my agility was that much before. What does it do? Hang on. Restore magicka? Restore health. Well, that's my fuck me. Restore magicka? Really? That's what it does. It does me absolutely no good. Well, and I don't care that I just took it. What I need it to restore is my weapon. That's what I need it to restore. Ugh. So going into this final fight, whatever the final fight's gonna be, all I've got is True Flame, a three, a two-thirds dead glass dagger, a bow, which I'm not very good with, and two steel blades. The jink blade probably won't do anything because it just paralyzes, and I'm pretty sure everybody down here is immune to paralysis. Ah, oh, this should be great. So at the sill, here we go. Let's see what happens. So at the sill. I am here to kill you. Dude! What the fuck were you doing down here? He doesn't even have any legs. Sort of. He has hands. Ugh, that's kind of horrifying. You have found the body of Sotha Sil, his lifeless hulk dangling from a contraption of his own making. Someone has obviously been here before you. Hang on, lady. Hang on. I don't think I have. Ugh. I'm stuck in place. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I can barely hear what she's saying. I need the um, subtitles on. So weird. This is so weird. And that's gonna be if I'm fighting on Alexi, it's gonna be 
Absolutely impossible. Okay, so I kept my option, right? Subtitles always on. Very good. Save. So the sill is weird and twisted. This doesn't do anything. This one says hangout? There's no place, there's no other place to go. What? There's no like beds in this place or furniture or anything. He didn't eat, did he? Or sleep. These gnarly nails. This hand has no nails. Jesus. All right. Hi, Gold Curse. Welcome. Yeah, he is exactly. Found the body of Sil. Blah blah blah. What's the journal say? God's body has been ravaged by powerful forces. That's the last update that I had before this one. One day ago, I've been transported to Sil's Clockwork City. It took me a day to get through it, and after all this time, uh. I've, I've only managed just now to get to the end. There's no healing or anything else. Oh boy. Yes. This clockwork city was to be your death. You were to be my greatest martyr. The heroic villain. Sacrificing all to protect Morrowind from a mad soul of sin. But you lived. Indeed. Ian. I will tell the tale myself when this is done. I will tell my people how with your dying breath you proclaimed your devotion to me, the one true God. Your death will end this prophecy and unite my people again under one God, one faith, one rule by my divine law. What about Vivek? The puppet king will lay down his arms and bow to my will. Those who do not yield will be destroyed. Dig the mask. The amazed band has allowed me to travel to this oh. place. Here I slew Sotha Sil. Here I summoned the fabricants to attack Moyhold. You did that! I will be the savior of my people. I alone will be their salvation. None may stand in my way. Not you. He always thought himself our better, shunning us, locking himself in his hole. As he does, not always. Even in death, he mocked me with his silence. But I think you will scream. <laughs> I like that she paces. It's kind of cool. Yes. Journal has been updated. Let's see how this... <laughs> oh man, do you mean I have to sit through that shit again? <laughs> uh-huh. I got an idea for this one. <laughs> if she gets to be a god, then so do I. All right, come on, lady. Where are you at? Can we? We can't skip this. Oh dear. Bear with me, everyone. Let's let's drink, shall we? Set strength. To, oh yeah, I could. Uh, uh, it'll probably take me a thousand hits to kill her, won't, won't it? She's gonna have more more health than the uh, imperfect. Get through this, huh? My people, how with your dying breath you proclaim your devotion to me, the one who died. Your death will end this prophecy and unite my people again under one God, one faith, one rule. She her plan is nuts. 
So she's losing power and she's just like, um, it's, it's, she's losing power and she's going crazy and she's just trying to hold on to whatever she can, basically. Here, while she does that. One moment, just turning up my volume again so I can actually hear. Wait through this again. Exactly. I'm gonna quick save it uh, as soon as she's done talking. I will deal with him when I have finished with you. Pem grows weary of tribunal. <laughs> I really like this DLC. It's just this clockwork city that pisses me off so far. I think. Have I been pissed off at anything else in the DLC? I don't think so. I think I've been singing its praises. Even in death, he mocked me with his silence. I think you will scream, mortal. For now you face the one true god. Yeah, except I also have godlike powers. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, look at her cool sword. Alright, let's fight Nerevar versus Almalexia, shall we? Ooh. Oh no, it's gonna take a while. Okay, how about this? How about this, I'm Alexia? There. This might take a while, but... Breath of fresh air. Exactly! The one true god! Is going to fall as soon as Morrowind decides to let me hit her. Whew. Well, we had to console the shit out of that, didn't we? Amalexia has appeared in the Clockwork City and revealed all. Using the dimension traveling powers of the mazed band. Dimension traveling? Are we in another dimension? The Clockwork City, not in Tamriel? Amalexia traveled to the Clockwork City to slay Sothasil and to portal the Fabricants to Mournhold. Made in a short length of time. Really? I would say it doesn't show, Gold Curse. I, I, it seems like they put tons of time and care into it. You, you might be absolutely right. But uh, that would be a... I think that would be a statement as to how good it is. It's just the very end, this Clockwork City mission that's been incredibly difficult. Uh, she believes the time, time of the tribunal has ended. It has. She alone may usher Morrowind into a new era as the one savior of her people. I fear it is Amalexia who has gone mad and not Sothasil. Amalexia is dead at my hand with some significant help from the gods. Uh, the console gods. The goddess hoped to leave me here dead and make me a martyr to her new cause. Now she and Sothasil both lie dead in what is left of the clockwork city. What she got? Hope's fire. Another long blade. Shock damage. It's basically just a shock damage version of True Flame. 30 to 70. Okay, a bit different damage. Uh, stats there. Take it. Oh, and the maze band. Summon Fabricant. So how the hell do I get out of here? Oh, and I should probably... Oops. Turn off... Uh... Turn off God mode. Before I forget. Sothasil, speak to me! I need to escape. Wouldn't that be crazy if that was the fate of the Nerevarine to just die in here? Stuck. Can I use the mazed band to get out of here? Oh! Yep! <gasps> oh my gosh! I 
to go straight back to the deck. Uh, no, Mournhold for now. Feel a powerful force interrupt the maze band spell and pull you toward Mournhold. Okay, so I was going to go to Mournhold no matter what. <laughs> Five hands. What do they have to say about me killing their goddess? We wait the goddess's command. Her word is our law. There is no time to speak with the likes of you. I see. They don't know that she's dead. Let's not disabuse them of that notion. What do you want? Almalexia is healing mother, the source of compassion and sympathy. I'm just talking to the back of his head. And protector of the poor and weak. I found Sothasil dead and killed Amalexia. I found Amalexia, Sothasil, and Vivek dead, except Vivek's not dead. I didn't kill Vivek. I found Sothasil dead and killed Amalexia and Vivek. Why is it telling them... Why am I telling them that Vivek's dead? This is the only true option. I would lie if I wasn't also lying about Vivek, because that would be really easy to check. He could just teleport to Vivek and be like, Ah, oh, no, Vivek's alive. Be like, you, you sweat. <laughs> You're no near ring. Hmm. Let's just answer. I like to say thank you. I must be going, but this seems important. Let's just tell them the truth. Look, I'm the near ring, dude. Take it or leave it. But so the sill is dead, killed by Almalexia. And then I had to kill her to save myself. Puzzled. You are a foreigner. Many foreigners cannot understand our living gods. Are you speaking figuratively in metaphors? In some poetic way? Are you a follower of some peculiar western cult? Please excuse me. But what you say makes no sense at all. Oh no. City of light. City of magic. <laughs> I killed your goddess. Mornhold! Ah, am I right? It's fantastic. Ha -cha 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 -cha. Hi, Zeno. Welcome. My god, I imagine we need a knight. Oh. Ah! You have done well, mortal. Fruit fly. Azura and fruit fly. Alexia is a boon for all of Morrowind, though it may take time for this to be understood. Mm. She would have betrayed the Dummer as surely as she betrayed all those whom she loved. This was her curse and her undoing. Weep not Hi, for Sothasil. He shared his mortality long ago. Yes. But I am certain his death was no small relief to him. These gods lived with the burden of a power no mortal was meant to possess. Your work in Morrowind is not finished, Nerebarine. Vivek still lives, but I believe his time grows short. Oh, I thought she was going to tell me to kill him. Defend these lands. <laughs> I better lay off the monster. They are clear. Now go, mortal. Embrace your destiny and go with my blessing. What's your blessing? Azura is a Dunmer in appearance. I wonder if that's just uh, what she chooses as a, like a, to sort of show solidarity with her people, perhaps? I'm not sure. Uh, what did you, what did you give me, my lady? Second time we've talked to Azura. I have returned to Mornhold and been visited by the spirit of the Daedra, Azura. She has told me that the death of Almalexia was just, and that it was she, not Sothasil, who was mad. The time of the tribunal, says Azura, is gone, as a sign of her love for the Dunmer, she has ended the ash storms in Mournhold and promised they will never return. She gave me something. I... Did not... Did I have that already? Her blessing. Is that her blessing? Freaking bugs, go away! I, don't, I think I already had that, though. Hmm. All right. Well, we have no loot from that uh, quest, except for the sword, which I'm not going to sell. That's Almalexia's sword. Hi, Deadbeat! Lo, Pem is streaming. Thus it was written.
I don't know why I'm in the market district. I should have gone to bed. Uh, but while I'm here, I'll see if I can... I don't, I don't think I have anything to unload, but maybe. I certainly have things to repair. No, I have nothing to unload. Books, maybe. All these old drummer books on the different different uh, uh, mechanical topics, engineering and such. How goes Pem and chat? Well, I go well. It's Friday night. Uh, I'm hanging out, streaming. Unusual for me on a Friday night, but enjoying it so far. Hopes fire. Oh, 150,000. Well, I won't be selling that. I wouldn't sell it even if it was something that they could give me full price for. On account of the fact that um, it's a pretty special thing. I have Nerevar's blade and Amalexia's blade. Talk with you? Something tells me I might regret it. I also don't have a glass helm anymore. Stupid. Ah! Wasn't this like one of the very first... Yes, thank you. Wasn't this one of the very first quests we did here in Mournhold, I think, was the play. I, I know she's speaking about the play quest, but it's kind of funny to think that she's speaking about the killing Almalexia thing. That wasn't bad, considering the circumstances. You were very brave. Uh, Deadbeat, Zeno, those of you who are joining a little bit late, I must confess that the only way that I was able to get to Amalexia and to beat her was to cheat a bit. I had to use the console. Oh, thank you to be brief, Sarah. Uh, she was hella hard to beat. I don't even like using the word hella, that's how bad it was. Those books are worth a lot. Relatively speaking. I'm never gonna use Soul Trap to do with that. Yes, I love them too. Total sold eight. Oh, whatever. <laughs> glitched quest? No, not not glitched. Actually, just it the way that it was written. Um, so. You get sent to the Clockwork City, in case you're not familiar with the DLC. You get sent to the Clockwork City, ostensibly to kill Sothasil. And uh, you're not really, you're told ahead of time, like, okay, here you go, are you ready? And you're like, yeah, I'm ready. But they don't tell you ahead of time, oh, by the way, it's going to take you a day to get through it. Uh, so make sure you have healing and your weapons repaired and all that stuff. Which I, I had healing and my weapons repaired, but I went through it all in like the first half of the dungeon. So then I still had the rest to go, and there was nothing I could do. I was out of healing, my weapons were all damaged, I made the mistake of taking True Flame instead of taking my, my good sword, even though True Flame is actually a better sword, but I'm not skilled in Longblade. Oh dear, it was, it was nutty. Those are really heavy, I'm gonna sell them. I mean, they're, they're handy because they fortify speed, but... Sorry. Likewise, sell them. I think even Sujama's lighter than that. Want to go get best ring in game? Sure! We are. <laughs> we are not fangless. Sure, what's the best ring in the game? Is it here in Mournhold? Kill the king. Oh, I don't know about that. But this guy's dead. That guard does not care that that guy... That there's nothing here to guard. I don't know. Killing the king. I'll probably have to kill all his bodyguards. Uh, Books. Why am I here? Why am I? Wait a minute. What's that? Blood fire. No. What's the best? What is the best ring's power? Perhaps you can tempt me with its OP miss. OP miss? 
I just said the word penis completely unintentionally. Mama's little baby like scumbo, scumbo. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Glass fire sword. Glass dagger. I wish you had a glass helmet. You got a glass left bracer. <sighs> OP ness. Sounds like I'm lamenting something. I'm lament I'm lamenting. <laughs> I'm lamenting my lost genitalia. Oh penis. <laughs> Royal Signet Ring, 100 percent magic resistance, permanent shield, and something else. Damn! It would be very out of character for me to <laughs> It would be very out of character for me to to go kill the king. For a ring. But Did for the OP-ness, maybe. Too busy. Who's sheathing weapons here? What the hell? See, even after all that, they, they haven't replenished with any good healing potions. Ugh. You insult me, madam. A couple of exclusive restore healths. Fine. Hmph. Hmph, I say. What do you got, brother? Two more. Yeah, I suppose that's the best I'm gonna do, isn't it? I don't even want to go upstairs. I don't care. Uh, okay. Let's... To be brief, Sarah. Oh, this guy. So there was another Velas wizard living in the Velas Manor. Eh, Pemguana? Brother of the weedy one you killed. And a tough wizard, from what I hear. It's a funny old world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I can't talk to him about it, though. So, here's a question I have for you guys. Um, should Pemguana go to Solstein? I wasn't planning on it. I was actually kind of planning. <laughs> oh, penis. <laughs> Good one, Debbie. Uh, I wasn't actually planning on going to Solstein with Pemguana because I thought, ah, one, one, two quest lines, one DLC, that's enough. We'll, we can find another game after Morrowind. But now, I'm thinking, uh, why not? Because you know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm doing Skyrim on the YouTube channel right now, right? And part of the my plan for that character is to do the Dragonborn DLC. And I have not previously done the Tribunal. Uh, sorry. Well, I've never done the Tribunal one either. But I've not previously done the um, Blood Moon DLC. I think that I would get more enjoyment out of De Dragonborn if I did Blood Moon ahead of time, which I could do in the stream. That's my thinking. Be fun because there's reference to it in Dragonborn. So, uh, yes, exactly what I was thinking, Walter. Exactly. Third in. Uh, oh, no, no custom armor. No custom armor. Yeah, I, I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it, which will probably add another, like, six months of streams <laughs> to the Morrowind stream series already. But, uh, I, I don't think it'd be wasted. I've heard good things about Blood Moon. I'm the one you want. Major Blade, quit bugging me. I've heard good things about it, and if I'm going to do Dragonborn, it seems like I should have done uh, Blood Moon beforehand, right? If I... Oh my god! If I ever, if I never hear that again, it'll be too soon. So, the Tribunal DLC is complete. We got a nifty house out of it. Given that it's better than Caius's house in Balmora, I think we'll probably end up living here. This is where P 
Pangwana will settle, but it will require her to bring all her stuff from uh, oh, the Dagger of Symmachus. That's right. That's pretty special to me, anyway. Let's put Hope's Fire in. Um, OP-ness. Yep. <sighs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I, I, if I'm going to live here, I'm going to move in. I'm going to bring all my stuff. You know? Oh, rats. You know what? I would have remembered telekinesis in the room uh, that we started the stream in, in the Clockwork City, where you had to have your strength up then push the lever and the bridge would go down and then you'd be able to walk across the bridge to the door i was able to go around the edge of the door without cheating but i couldn't get to the door without tcling i wonder if i could have used telekinesis on it that's what i'm going to say i did i used te i used telekinesis that's how it worked that's how i got through this ring sucks why am i carrying oh fuck it i don't want that ring Fariner, i appreciate what you did for me, dude, or what I did for you, whatever. But, nah, screw it, dude. Your ring sucks. Oh, rats, that was a book I should have sold. Four pounds of a book I should have sold. Alright, anyway, we need a meal and a nap. Ashiams? Where are the Ashiams? Here they are. I wonder if Ashiams actually taste good. They don't sound like it. Oh, and rest for, let's say, eight hours. Ah, okay. Now, can I use the maze band to... Um, oh, where the hell did it go? Barrels, oh, I've still got it armed. Can I use it to transport to... No. Hang on, why can't I do the thing I want to do? Oh, you know what? I should put True Flame in here, too. Because I'm never, I shouldn't be using it, really. It is near of our sword, but I'm not a long blade type, you know? Yeah, see, that's better. And I need to get a goddamn helmet. Penguana's ribbons are pretty. I didn't realize her tail's always moving. Uh, right, what am I trying to do? Oh, fuck! That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to transport, teleport. Is there not a way to teleport with it? Hmm. I guess not. I guess I can just go see the um, Mages Guild. Is that thing going to follow me? Probably not. Oop, sounds like it's following me. <laughs> it is following me. Hello. I should go pick a fight. Do 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 do. Let's see if we can actually. I, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a little bit of an out of character moment, but I'm gonna save it and then see if we can actually successfully kill the kings. You know. <laughs> yep. I knew exactly where you were going with that. <laughs> uh, that's good. So you're the guy I talked to about Trent. Yes. Okay. Good. Good to know where you are. Excuse me, I have some regicide to commit. Yeah, get out of the way, dude. My liege! Glad to see you. Oh no, no way in hell. 
Nope. Would not work. Where did I quick save it? Right here. Oh, very smart of me. We are not glad to see you. Let me try to pickpocket it from him. Oh, it's not there. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't stand a chance. <clears throat> It would be like trying to fight Amalexia while also having a bunch of guards killing me. Let's just say we came to pay the king are not glad to see you. Uh, his, some respects before we leave town for good. We will, of course, plan on moving here, but just to look at it. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's try it. Let's see what the guards think when their king drops dead. <laughs> With this character's death, the threat of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate or persist in the doomed world you have created. Royal Signet Ring. Reflect 100% on self. Holy shit. Oh my god! Reflect 100% on self? No wonder I got my ass kicked when I tried to attack him. Resist magic 100%. Resist paralysis. Restore health 10 points. Constant effect. Restore fatigue 10 points. Constant effect. I mean... Ugh... I don't know, Walter. I have no idea. <laughs> Zeno's going to cover his eyes. I have no idea. How would you? You, um... Yeah, you couldn't cast a spell on him. He'd resist the magic. I was thinking maybe there'd be like a... Maybe you could, you could custom make a spell that would drain his health really fast or something. But that wouldn't work. He won't paralyze. He, his his health and fatigue is restored by 10 points every second. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. How can we roleplay that the king would give the Nerevarine this ring? Because I, I want this ring. I, I, I'm tempted by it. Daedric Dai Katana. Wait a minute. We killed his biggest rival, right? Almalexia was his rival. In fact, Almalexia was talking about how once she got rid of us, uh, she was going to force the king to abdicate, or if not, kill him. So we took out his, his biggest threat and his chief rival. He now is the single ruler of Mornhold and essentially Morrowind, except for uh, Vivek. Whose days are numbered, we think. Perhaps he would reward the Nerevarine for such a fantastic uh, turn of events by giving her this ring. Let's say that. <laughs> now, can I. Is it just resurrect? Nope, does not exist. Set health. Yeah, nope, he's still dead. Hi, real analysis. Decent ring. Yeah, I suppose. Decent. It's got op -ness, that's for sure. Resur I spelled resurrect wrong. Is that true? That's what I did? God. I was raised Catholic, too. You'd think I know how to spell it. No? Nope, didn't work, dude. Oh, I didn't have... Uh, yeah, right. We are not happy <laughs> to see you. Well, he's alive. 
I did get a pretty cool ring from him as thanks for getting rid of Almalexia. That was awesome. Let's put that on. What a noble king. City of the City of Magic. It's considerably darker than it was a second ago. Oh, I know why it's darker. Because previously I had uh which ring was it? I had on a ring that did something that made it brighter? Restored fatigue and something else. What was it? Hmm. Forgive me, guys, while I look this up. Scrolls, no. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. This is how it is now. Azura's ring. Yes, thank you. Where is it? City of magic. Wait, where the hell is it? That's weird. Above the yellow belt. White and black ring. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Yep. Night eye. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'll sacrifice the brightness uh, for the sake of... Well, this one... Where did it go? Azura's ring. There it is. Um, the Restore Fatigue was nice, but now I have 10 points. Do I not? Indeed I do. Whew! Oh, and I don't need that shitty shield anymore, the Goblin Shield, do I? I can use my Glass Shield. Right, Maze Band would be top kind of useless. Um... How about instead, I don't know, slow falling, that's what I usually end up using. Hi, dude. Look, approaches. I am uh, pretty awesome right now. I'm going to transport back to Vardenfell. You should go back to Vardenfell now. I can send you to Evanhart directly. Yes! On your way then. Wow! I can't believe it. We've done the Tribunal DLC. It almost, it feels weird to be back on Vardenville. Okay, you know what I want to do as a test here? I want to pick a fight. Hey, you! He can't touch me. Oh my god. You violated the law. Uh, resist arrest. <laughs> this is not in character. This is all out of character stuff going on. So loud. We're not gonna. We're not gonna keep this save. Is what I'm saying. Look at that. My health heals almost instantly. Yep, I am somewhat invincible now, aren't I? Ah, Vardenfell, I can't wait to get outside, honestly. It's gonna be kind of nice to see landscape instead of just city walls. Look at that. What a nice change. <sighs> Fantastic. I only have a few moments. Okay, so here's a question. I gotta remember how it is that I get to uh, 
soul stone. Hey, where the hell is it? Hmm. There it is. Terrible place, I've heard. There's a boat from Cool, if you have any reason to go. It's the frozen island up to the north, right? Sounds awful to me. If you're looking to get there, you might check for transportation in Cool. How? I have forgotten how to get to Cool. Bet if we got to Margon, we could get there. I think I can get to Margon by... Ring won't save you in Blood Moon missions. High damaging melee. Oh, great. Okay. Well, anyway. We'll make it work. We can... Let's get to Balmora. Do we need to go to Balmora? Probably. Maybe. Eventually, I'm going to take my stuff back to Mournhold. All the stuff that I have in Caius's house, but not right now. And I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I am going the right way. Huh, how about that? Is it you I want to talk to? Zer's Coast. No, I don't want to go to Zer's Coast. I'm sorry. That was for a quest. I've forgotten. Nervarine coming through. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Feck. So, we're the freaking Nerevarine, we're the Master of the Thieves Guild. We are now the Slayer of Almalexia, so the Sil is dead. And we're also a fantastic actor, highly acclaimed actor. Mournhold stage. Mm, Balmora. <clears throat> We make a special trip just for you. Hello, hello. Long day on the roads. I know. Yep. Weird, huh? Weird to think Pamguana used to be a dude. What do you got? Oh. Maybe somebody has... No, nobody's going to have a glass helmet. The boots of blinding speed! I can't believe I sold those. Just because I would have gone blind otherwise, but okay. <laughs> Look at him. They wouldn't blind me with the ring. Oh gosh, yeah, but it probably cost a fortune to get him back, wouldn't it? If I ever lost my jink blades, I'd have lots of options to buy them back, because these dudes retain their stuff forever, it looks like. Of course, I do have a shitload of money, don't I? Oh, that's right, I can't wear boots. That's why I sold them. That's why. I say I have a shitload of money, I could buy back the boots. But no, Morrowind's racist against uh, Argonians and Khajiit. Uh, seriously, do I? I don't even have anything to trade with people, do I? Oh, this book. Take the book. I still have this, oh my gosh, this satchel, the explosives. Something tells me I don't need it anymore. Remember that I sold it to Revere, in case I ever have to come back for any reason. That's where I can get it. Armorer. 
We got tons of glass stuff. A glass helmet, though. Whoops. What I need, more than anything else probably, is the um, alchemist. That's the temple, right? That's the temple? That's the temple. Razor hole. I've forgotten where the frickin' alchemist was. Hang on. Alchemist. It's been so long since I've been in Balmora. That one's a clothier. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait a minute. Where the hell? Gosh, I didn't even see you there. Well, what have we here? Oh right, I stole her diamonds. A very long time ago did I steal her diamonds. Restore health. Hmm. Mark and recall, sure. You never know when you'll need that. Restore strength, yes. That's fine. Let's go see our house. Fantastic. Haven't seen it in what feels like a year. House. Caius's house, actually. Nerevarine coming through, excuse me. Okay. Let's check out all of our stuff here and see if any of it would make sense to bring with us to Mournhold. Madstone. Sound. Don't know what that's going to do for me. Teeth of the Urshalaku. Bone Weave Gauntlet. Amulet of Hearthfire. Fortify Agility. Unarmored. Chameleon. Fortify Speed. Fortify Fatigue. Crozier of St. Glophus. Damage health, blind, disintegrate armor. Scroll written in blood, yes, I remember that. Wraith guard, heavy armor, so I'll probably never wear it. My very first Colovian fur helm, Sunder. Malapu Ataman's belt. Don't need it. House Dagoth cup. Glass dagger. Don't know why that's there, but okay. What about over here? Shoes of sanguine stocking. I kept. Uh, why did I keep those? Those must have been. Uh, yes, I've already finished the main quest, Deadbeat. That must have been a main quest reward, otherwise, I would have sold them, I think. Belt of heart fire. Fiend Spear. Konun Chodala's Boots. Again, I don't know why I kept the boots. Shadow Shield. Restore Fatigue. Invisibility cast when used. Uh, Error Don's Quiras. Kind of sucks. Error Don's Spear. Portled's robe. Fiend spear. I don't know why I kept the fiend spear, but okay. And then a bunch of books and stuff. Uh, don't I have a robe to drop off? Uh, 
Elseth's collar. Hmm. Where did I when did I pick that up? He must have given that to me. Flame mirror robe, yeah. Oh I can sell it. I'm just gonna sell it. I'm just gonna sell it. Why do I still have it? Um Where did it go? Elseth's collar. Go. Oh wait, I'm gonna sleep in there because it's nighttime. Let's say nine hours. Ah, okay. So this is where we're gonna end uh, this portion of the stream, you guys, because well, no, fuck it. We'll get to we'll get to Soul's time first. Then we'll end it. So we need to make our way to cool, right? Let's actually go to the, I don't know, someplace we can sell that robe. I'll sell that really quick. Then we'll get on the Silk Strider, head towards cool. Now the armor won't buy it. The trader will though. Revere, what have you got for cash? Not a lot. It's fine. I don't need money anyway. I'll just get rid of it. Oh, it's so hard to identify this shit. There it is. Got 120. Hey! Snazzy! Sharp, man. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. All right. Where am I going? It's so dark. All right, Silt Strider. Why walk when you can ride? Agreed. Mm. Aldrun, probably, right? If I can get to Aldrun, I can get to Margon, and then maybe from Margon I can get to Cool. Of course, there's the Mage's Guild too. Oh, God. Oh, I can just go straight there from here. Fantastic. We'll just say we slept on the on the Silt Strider. Oh, and we're gonna eat some food on the Silt Strider as well. Rice and a yam. Basically just all starch. Alchemy increase. I don't know if I've ever gotten that. A worker? All is silence. The road is straight without turning in darkness. Now let there be an end to all things. Are there still dreamers about? Hey, wait, where the hell is the town? It's this way. Alright, a boat and cool to take us to Solstein. Cool. Cool. Ice. Stay cool. It's not gonna be that boat. Distinctive voice. 
Greetings, are you in need of transport? Zabir will gladly take you to Fort Frostmoth in Solstheim for a small fee. Sure, let's... Oh, wait, hang on. Tell me about Solstheim. Take it to... Okay, fine. Here we go! It is now late at night. Speak quickly. Basks in the sun. Welcome to Solstheim, jewel of absolutely nowhere. It's a miserable place. Even for the warm bloods. If you want to leave, I'd be happy to take you back to Farnfell. If you feel you must stay, speak with Captain Falx Carius in his chambers at Fort Frostmoth. Captain Carius is the commander here. Not a bad man, but he is a fool for remaining in this place. So cold. So cold. If you are here about the colony... Carnius Magius is the man you will speak to. Find him at the Imperial Cult Shrine. Welcome. Yes. Okay. Lots to do here. I have arrived on the island of Solstein. Captain Falx Carius is the commander at Fort Frostmoth, and I should speak with him. Captain Carius is likely in his chambers at Fort Frostmoth, which can be reached through the general quarter at the top of the south staircase. For matters dealing with the new colony, I should speak with the Carnius Magius of the Imperial Cult Shrine. We have things to do next time. But this is where we're going to leave it, you guys. It is uh, the 90 minute mark here in our stream, just about. Penguana will pick up Solstheim next time <laughs> uh, we stream. What we will do now is uh, take a little break and then start up Banner Saga 3. Those of you who would like to check it out, hang out for a bit, we'll get back to it. One second.